Uh, hello, so we have reached exercise 8, which is about to find the case smallest element in an array using the quick sort. So, uh, we should implement the following function, find k, which takes an array, the size of the array, and dk, uh, an integer for the case element. So, and the function should calculate the case smallest element in the array <coughs> and returns the element minus 1 if it doesn't exist, for example, if k is greater than n or k is smaller than 0. So we should use quick sort in searching for the element but without sorting the entire array. So example here we have this array and the first element is equal to 2, the second smallest element is equal to 4, and the seventh element, uh, the third smallest element is equal to 7. So let's take an example here. So and uh, let's suppose we want to find the third smallest element. So this is the array. So obviously we need to do a quick sort. So this is the pivot here. So and, ne and we need to uh, subdivide the subarray into two parts. So obviously we have four, seven, eight, two, uh, uh, nine. They are on the left, and uh, those one they are on the uh, right part. So and then we will switch eleven and nine. So whenever when when we do that. So when we have 9, 4, 7, 8, uh, 2, and 11, so obviously we have here index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I need to find the third element, so I need the index 2. So there is no need to work on the right side because I don't care about the right side because I need just the second element. And I know that I have just swapped the pivot with the index number 5, so which is the sixth element. However, I'm looking for the third element. So I just need to uh, sort the left part in order to reach for uh, uh, the index number 2. So this is how we will do that. So we need to write the function find, and we know that this is the part of the uh, quick sort. So we need to find the pivot and do the sorting, which is uh, we'll uh, do it in place. So this one is already done. So it's the the quick sort part. So let's start here. So what we will do that when we are uh, uh, working with this. Uh, part so again so we will considering a smaller array and again when we do uh, the uh, take the pivot we will have also two sub arrays so we will we'll play on this stuff on this part so we'll have two uh, indices one called start and one called end so at the beginning we'll start from the uh, the entire array and uh, then we will either uh, play start at middle uh, or uh, end to the middle so we know that if k is greater than n or k is less than 1, it means that uh, uh, I should return uh, minus 1 because it's out of bound. Otherwise, I will loop. So I will loop continuously. So I'll use a do while. I would place, so I will find the pi with the j. So I will use the function above. So I have the tab. I have the start and the end. So where I will consider the element. So whenever I find j, now I will uh, check. So if the index of the pivot that I've changed, for example, here 5, is greater than k, it means that I need just to uh, uh, to work on the left part. So I will change the end part. So this is the kind that we will do. So if j is greater than k minus 1, I will change just the end of the array. It will be equal to j minus 1. Otherwise, so if j is uh, less, then k minus 1, it means that I need to change the startings uh, of uh, the uh, subarray of the uh, sorting. Otherwise, it means I have found the element and I just need to return tab of j. So I need now to work with place. So place is the normal uh, function that we have uh, covered uh, in the quick sort. So I need uh, uh, to have uh, left and uh, right, and I increment left or I decrement uh, uh, right. So I will call it here k and uh, l. We will need an auxiliary variable for the swapping. So l would be equal to j plus one because uh, i plus one because i is the pivot and uh, k would be equal to j which is the end so as long as we have i l sorry is less or equal to k it means i can loop so i can either start from the left or from the right from so now i will start from the right so you can do it from the left it's already is already okay so tab of k if it's greater than tab of i i would decrement k and the same while so tab 
of L is less or equal tab of I I would increment plus plus and when we are here it means that I need to swap so if L is less than K if so I would increment I would do the the uh, exchange so tab L tab L equal tab of K tab of K equal ox and I need to increment uh, both L and K sorry not so K minus minus I would decrement minus minus so when I finish when I, there's uh, I cross L and K it means that I have found the elements I have found the pivot so I need to swap the pivot with the right element so ox would be equal to tab of I and tab of I would be equal to tab of K and tab of K would be equal to ox and I will return the pivot which is equal to K and this is it so let's execute so I have already worked with the example so there is something missing here at uh, 61 so we have two oh, we didn't write the while so we do that as long as we finish so of course I will return an element since uh, uh, there's always a case okay it's between one and minus one so of course I will return one day this element so let's run and we end up with uh, the uh, correct solution so the first uh, uh, smallest element this is here the tenth smallest element so it would be equal to 30 because it's the, uh, the, the the last element the biggest element so and this is it for this exercise so we have just used uh, the quick sort we have just used the same function and we just sorted half each time half of the array so either the left part or the right part depends on the position of the pipette so and this is it for this exercise if you have any question do not hesitate to drop a message for me and i will answer you back of course and again thanks for watching